using double angle formula. This is a video for Leap Insert higher level students. These formulas are found on page 14 of the tables formula book. So we want to show that the left hand side equals the right hand side of the equation. We notice first that there's some double angles on the left hand side. We assign the angle 2a, but the answer is just a single angle. So I'm going to take a formula that converts sine 2a into a single angle. And I need a formula that converts cos 2a into a single angle as well. I'm choosing this one because I notice they both have this same term, 1 plus cos 2a in it. So if I double both sides, I would have an expression for 1 plus cos 2a. So let's rewrite the left-hand side, see, can we make it with the right-hand side? So sine 2a is 2 times sine a over cos a, so the first formula. And 1 plus cos squared a is 2 times sine squared a by the second formula. 2 divides in above and below, as does sine a, leaving us with cos a over sine a, which is tan a. So we've proven the identity. So that's the first one. In the second question, again, uh, we want to show that the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. So we have cos uh, t to the power of 4 minus sine t to the power of 4. If you notice that this is a difference of two squares, it might be useful. So I could write this as cos squared t to squared minus sine squared t to squared, the difference of two squares. So the rule here would be cos squared theta minus sine squared theta, and we factorize it, multiply by cos squared theta plus uh, sine squared theta. Now, if we look up in our formulas and tables books, we can see that we could turn this, this into a double angle, which is what we want to do. So we, we want to relate it to cos 2a, because that's what the question is asking. And when we look up in the tables and formula, we see that cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. That's part of our answer here. We also notice that cos squared a plus sine squared a is equal to 1. Using these results, we could rewrite what we have as cos 2 times theta multiplied by 1, which is just cos 2 theta. So we've proven the identity. 